They say everything's better with feta. And the next dish we're breaking down for you is the baked pasta dish that's taking over TikTok. The oven-baked feta tomato pasta was first inspired by T.U. Piret, a blogger from Finland. But food blogger Mackenzie Smith posted her version of the recipe earlier this year, and it has now been viewed more than 3 million times. Since then, the hashtag baked feta pasta has raked up 52 million views. My goodness, on TikTok, grocery stores are even reporting they're seeing a 200% increase in the sale of the cheese. This dish looks gourmet, but I'm told that it is one of the easiest recipes you will ever make in the TikTok sensation herself. Mackenzie Smith is here to walk us through it all. Mackenzie, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I love it. I love it. I want to launch into this because I can't wait to honestly taste it. So we're starting yeah. out with the basic of pasta in water. Where can yeah. we go wrong with that? You can't really with this recipe, which is one of the reasons that I think it's really completely taken off. And you like bow tie, why? So I love bow tie, I just think it's a great shape. It kind of clings to the sauce beautifully, but um, you can really use any pasta shape that you like. All right, so we're gonna start off with our pasta in our water, come to a boil, got it in there. While that is um, boiling over here, you're gonna take us through we have just a traditional casserole pan. I have a round one. You have rectangular. That doesn't matter, right? You can use them interchangeably. Just use whatever you have. So we've got our baking dish. And the first thing you're going to use is the cherry tomatoes. You can use grape tomatoes, too. Kind of whatever sweetest. OK, these are beautiful that I have in front of me. Great. Well, beautiful. All right, so um, the olive oil, too. And some salt. OK, just a little bit of salt there. Yeah. Why do you think folks have fallen in love to the tune of millions of views? Well, I have to start by saying who doesn't love cheese, tomatoes, basil, and garlic on pasta, right? That combination is just classically delicious. Um, but it's also visually appealing. It's super easy. It's adaptable. And I think the biggest thing is anyone can make it. OK, so we've got our tomatoes in. Add a little red pepper flake in there. Yeah. OK. And then we're just going to do the feta. So, just a block of feta. Got it. Which uh, I'm glad that you get some because I've heard that they've been sold out. That's what I heard. I did not know that. Man, I, and so we're here, we all been talking about paper towels and toilet paper. There was <laughs> feta that was going everywhere. <laughs> all right. OK, and then you're just going to drizzle a little bit more olive oil right on top of that Now, do feta. you have a preferred type of feta cheese that you like? Because I know when I go into the grocery store, I see a bunch of different, I used to anyway, you see a bunch of different types. So I definitely like the sheep's feta. OK. A mixed milk feta works beautifully, too. But you say that this is easy to mess up. Yes. Since it went viral, there's been so many different variations out there. And I just have to say, it's so important to use a lot of olive oil so that the tomatoes are kind of being in the olive oil. OK. Also, not it crowded. A lot of people don't use enough tomatoes. So those tomatoes are just kind of like burning and not getting really juicy. Um, so you want them touching, which you did perfectly. Oh, my gosh. Okay, because that's the key there, because people get a little confident and they think, oh, tomato and cheese, I've got it. It's nothing. How long do we bake this for again? So you're going to bake it for 30 minutes mm -hmm. at 400, and then yeah. you're going to crank it up for the last few minutes at 450 just to get some more caramelization on those tomatoes. Okay, so it's out. It's warm. My pasta is out of the pasta water. I've saved a little reserve here. So what do we have there? Yeah, so this is the garlic. Okay. And we're just gonna use fresh garlic. A lot of people are scared of this, but don't worry. The residual heat from the tomatoes, oil, and feta is gonna cook this perfectly. Okay. It's gonna take all off. Okay, so now that it's in, we're also gonna do the basil. And I'm just gonna hand tear it. You can use minced basil, julienne, however you choose. Got it. Mm, it smells so good. And you're just gonna stir it all together. Mm. And it's gonna create this creamy, luscious, silky cheese sauce. So don't delay sipping your cocktail that Jules recommended. You got to mix this up fast because you want that yeah. creamy texture. Also, yeah. I'm told you want to make sure your pasta is really hot as well to keep the creaminess going. Yes. Okay. And with that being said, you also want to make sure that you're transferring it pretty directly so that you can get some of that extra pasta okay. water, okay. which will make the sauce a little bit more silky. OK, so you've got your pasta. I've got mine. Mine is yeah, pretty so hot. I'm just pour it directly and... in. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, got my trusty spider. We'll just do this. Okay, let's take the camera off me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
truly, you want to know what it's like to be at my home. This is really, we're treating this like my home cooking experience. Okay, you know what, this whole show is about authenticity. I'm gonna tell you right now, I have too much pasta in mind. I'm a little worried. So that's why they have a little reserve pasta water yes, here for me. Okay. Yeah, I got some too. All right. And this you wanna stir it up and you'll notice how that sauce starts to cling to the noodles. Yeah. Because that's, I mean, that's the key with these dishes that appear complicated. You can't get overconfident, but you also can't be afraid of messing up. And I panicked there a little bit when I saw the texture, but then I added that reserve water and that was a game changer there. What do you yeah. top it with? So you can top it with a little bit more salt and pepper or red pepper flakes if you'd like, even a little bit more oil. Mm. It's kind of like one of those choose your own journey dishes. I like yeah. this. All right, let me ask my ladies what they think about this. Stephanie, I haven't taken a bite yet. What do you think? Taking my first bite now. You both into this? It's creamy. I mm. love how creamy it is. The feta, it's so bright, but it's also light. It's like a lighter cheese, so I love that in this. I like that it's not heavy, which is really nice. Sometimes you want that comfort, that heavy, and sometimes you want something that does feel a little lighter, a little easier to eat. Um, I also have a little girl, a little toddler at home who I feel like would really enjoy this. This is absolutely phenomenal. Mackenzie, thank you. Valerie and Stephanie, I totally agree. And the only thing I would change with the toddler is not use the pepper flakes. Other than yeah. that, this is a winner for everybody. Smart choice. Fantastic. Mackenzie, thank you.